Yes, yes, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a VIP, and I am a, yes, yes, of course, I'm, I'm very, very rich, as you can see. What? No, what do you mean this is a disguise? I'm, this is a disguise, what are, you, what are you talking about? Hey guys, another right dev here, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a VIP tag, so what you do is you, of course, buy the game pass, you buy your own VIP game pass, see, I bought it. And you can see a VIP tag will appear above my head. Uh, this video is very useful for uh, all types of games. And I use this in every one of my games. If you're excited, leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never, ever miss an upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. See ya. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do to create our VIP tag is, of course, create the tag itself. So to do that, what we can do... We can go into plugins here in the top right tab. Um, and then you can go to um, Rig Builder right here. You should automatically have this plugin. And then you can just click on it. And you're just going to make sure it's on R15. Or if you're, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. But you're going to insert just a regular block rig. So we can add a tag to it. So in ahead here, we can go ahead and add in a billboard GUI. Um, so you can see it's right here, and then you can add in a text label to that GUI. You can see it's kind of inside its head, so in the billboard GUI here, you can do, um, you can find the studs offset here, and you can change the middle one to like two, that's good, so you can see it's above its head, I'll just do one and a half for now, there you go, so that looks good, and then you'll set the max view distance to like a hundred, so you can't see it forever. There you go, so as soon as we get too far away, it should disappear. Yeah, maybe that's too far, so like 50. Let's do 75. Alright, so that should be good. And then what we can do on the text label here, we can set the text to VIP. And what else we can do is we can press Windows and period to open up the emoji tab here. And then we can search up crown like that. And then just click on the crown, and you can see that it added a crown there. So you can do that. That looks kind of cool. Alright, so then what we can do is we can go ahead and set the text to scale, of course. Um, the font of it, let's do the luckiest guy. That's my favorite for VIP stuff. Um, and what we can do, guys, I have a, I'll leave a link to the model in the description, but... In one of our tutorial videos, we made a color changing text script like that. So you can just get the script from this. You can just go ahead and copy it and then delete this again. Alright, and then we can paste that into the, um, this right here, the VIP text. So then the VIP should change color. And then we can set the background transparency of the text label to one so you can see it's clear and just says vip and now if we play it and we see a vip here you can see that its name is constantly changing colors but you can see it does say vip there all right so now what we can do is create our game pass that's going to give us our tag so what we can do is we can find the billboard gui we can just go ahead and rename it to vip um vip tag and we can go ahead and move it into um, server storage, there you go, and we can delete the dummy, because the services are no longer required. We can open up a browser here, and we can go to roblox.com, alright, and then once it's loaded, what you can do, you can go to create, before we do this, actually, make sure you go to set game settings, and then you click publish, and just click create, I forgot to mention this in the video, but once you're done with that, go back to settings, go to security, and allow third-party sales. Because if you don't, you might have problems um, with the VIP purchase. Alright, so now for your freshest page, you should find our game now. And now we can press that. We can, just, we can just click on it and click back. And you can see our game here. We've got just a creepy face. Um, then what you can do is go to store and click on add pass. I'm going to create a pass. I'm just going to name it, actually, a truth file. So I'm just going to go ahead and blur this. So I'm going to find a file that I can use. 
There you go, I found a file and you can just name it whatever you want. VIP. Bye. If you're cool like me. There you go. And then you can just click verify upload. And then you can go to settings here and click configure and set, go to sales and click item for sale. Set for however many Robux you want it to sell for. And then click save. Alright, so after you do that, you can go ahead and up in the link here. You can see there's a random batch of numbers. You're going to want to copy that because that is the game pass ID. And back into our game here. Alright, so now we can enter another script to service, script service, pause. You'll see that I said another script in the service, script service, and there's already a script there. But that's because I made a script that I thought was required, but it is not required to make the script work. So I just completely cut out that part of the video, so just ignore the other script there. And rename it to VIP script. Alright, All right, so over here we can do local ID is equal to and paste in our um, VIP ID. Yeah, now we can do game, cool, and get service. Um, marketplace service. And we'll do dot prompt game pass finish, cool, and connect function plr comma ido comma player and I'll comma purchase alright so now what we can do down here is if purchased and ido is equal equal to id then we can do local tag for the tag that we're going to give them is equal to game dot server storage and then dot vip tag colon clone and then down here we can do tag dot parent will be equal to player dot character dot head and then we'll do plr dot vip dot value is equal to true. Another pause. You'll notice that right here I added plr.vip that value is equal to true. Do not add that because again that is not required and it will not work since I did not include the other script. I thought it was required but it isn't so do not include plr.vip that value equal to true. Alright and then down here what we can do is game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then we'll do just plr this time all right and then plr dot character added colon connect function and then this time we'll do char all right and then we'll do if game colon get service marketplace service colon user owns game has a sync um and then we'll do game dot players and then square brackets char dot name and then dot user id comma id then so we'll do a local tag actually I can just copy this um most of the character dot head will say char dot head there's that plr dot vip dot value again Again, do not include that in your script. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But we also need to make a way for our player to go ahead and buy the game pass. So in start GUI, just go ahead and add a screen GUI, add in a button. I'll add in a text button. I won't do anything to it um, because just for the video, you probably already have a button to buy VIP um, if you already if you're um, making the game for it. So I'll just leave it like that for now. But in the button, we can add in 
a local script. And then here we can also do local ID is equal to and then paste in. Oh. Alright, and then we can paste in the ID again. Alright, and then we can do script dot parent dot mouse button one down and one click colon connect function no, but we just we don't need to name the function so we won't and we'll do game colon get service marketplace service and then colon prompt prompt game pass purchase and then game dot players dot local player and then comma ID so now if we test it alright we can press VIP and prompt game pass purchase okay apparently oh okay I forgot to add a T in the prompt make sure there's a T there there we go I just misspelled alright so I click that you already own this item alright alright guys so back in the Roblox website here uh, what I can go ahead and do is go to details and since it's my game, I automatically own the game pass, so I can go ahead and click these dot dot dot. I'll delete it from my inventory. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so that way I can do it for the video. Alright, so back in our game here, now that I don't own it anymore, I can press play. You can see, buy item. Would you like to buy a VIP? That's a nice new item buy, so you can just go ahead and click yes. So the text test purchase so won't actually buy anything and now you can see that the VIP is now on my head although I might want to move it up to two studs because it's you know my hair is kinda blocking it I have the best hair in the world um so yeah you can see it works and if you guys like this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a video and yeah let me know what you want to see in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one bye